Balancing profitability and labor laws is a tightrope act. In order to achieve this balance, explore Walking the New Labor Law Tightrope, a groundbreaking 10-part video series covering hiring, discipline, dismissal, industrial relations, CCMA, and much more. These engaging training videos make compliance enjoyable. Avoid management missteps and master legal, profitable workplace management. Join us on this transformative journey. Today, we are dealing with drug and alcohol abuse in the workplace. Let's begin this lesson with a short scenario. Come in. Mrs. de Kock, what do you want? We must address recent issues regarding Michael Mieni, the injured employee. That accident was handled properly. No, you terminated him improperly. We should have reported it and offered him another role. Well, he couldn't work anymore, so what was I supposed to do? We needed to follow the law and find him another position. Aha! Caught you, Michael. That's a final warning or you'll be fired. I'm sorry, Mr. Roper. It helps with the pain. He's in pain and self-medicating, but the Constitutional Court legalized private cannabis use. But workplace rules still apply. Michael needs support. He's becoming an addict. I've had enough of this. Thanks for joining. Michael needs our support. What do we want? Money justice! What do we want now? Fine, but this is your last chance, Michael. Thank you, sir. I promise I'll get better. Keeping this scenario in mind, let's take a look at the do's and don'ts when dealing with alcohol abuse and drug addiction. The Constitutional Court has decriminalized the private use of cannabis, but it remains illegal to be under its influence at the workplace. Being under the influence of cannabis can impair alertness, memory, balance, coordination, reflexes, and judgment. Should you have a suspicion that an employee is abusing alcohol or drugs, an incapacity procedure should be followed. Let's take a look at the steps to follow when performing an incapacity procedure. Have the employee examined by an expert to assess whether or not he is an addict. Obtain a detailed report on the prognosis. Explore ways to accommodate the employee. Consider assistance that could be offered. Investigate changes in job duties. Explore the possibility of working from home. Investigate hiring a temporary replacement. Consult with the employee. Do not consider termination until all viable alternatives have been attempted. Great, you have completed this lesson. One important step towards safely walking the labor law tightrope.